Hi guys, it's Coco. Welcome back to my channel. Today it's about one month post op for me from my rhinoplasty. So today we're going to be doing a little bit of a discussion. But before I get into that, I first want to give the word to me and Ling for our message from our sponsor today. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. Skillshare has classes on anything that you can imagine. You guys know it. Anywhere from how to make YouTube videos. I've personally been watching videos on how to make TikToks or how to edit your photos. Anything that you can think of that you would like to learn, you can probably find it on Skillshare. A class that I really liked for my little business was called DIY Product Photography, Style and Shoot Creative Stills by Rachel Golotta and Daniel Inskeep. This is really valuable to me because I do have an Etsy shop and I have to take pictures for it all the time. It's curated specifically for learning, so there's no ads and they're constantly adding new premium classes to the platform. That means you can continue to focus on the class and not be distracted by ads. And with an annual subscription, it comes down to less than $10 a month. However, the first 1,000 people who click the link in my description box will actually get a free trial of their premium membership so that you can explore your creativity. Thank you again so much to Skillshare and let's get into the video. Okay, hi. So today I am about one month post-op for my rhinoplasty in Turkey. Now I did already upload two videos on the topic, one a vlog of my experience there and then my first time seeing my nose. So I'm not gonna be repeating a lot of the things that I said in there. You can find them on my channel and there's a lot of info there as well. Plus my necklace today is the bubble gum for my Etsy. If you're wondering, that's what I'm wearing. But yeah, it's about one month post op. Let me show you what my nose is currently looking like right now. So I am so incredibly happy, especially if you've seen my before. I think my doctor did an insanely amazing job. So uh, yeah, it was definitely the best decision that I've ever made. I still think that I look a little bit surgically because my top lip is still a little bit frozen. It's getting a lot better, but because of that, my smell is kind of weird and that makes me look like surgically, basically. I think you guys know what I mean by that. But other than that, the nose is looking so much better. The swelling has definitely gone down a lot since uh, the first time that I was able to take the tapes off and everything. It's starting to look so much better. I'm actually going to be massaging from now so with like some steroid creams and stuff that i got from my doctor that's all very doctor specific i advise you to not take advice from videos per se but to really listen to your doctor because they do alter things according to your needs your skin and everything like that anyway so i asked you guys on instagram to ask me some questions about the nose job so i thought let's get into it what's the best and worst thing about your nose job i love watching your videos by the way so the best thing is definitely that I'm really happy with it. I think it looks a lot better than my previous nose. I'm so much more confident. I don't, it's not in my way anymore, which is amazing. The worst thing is definitely that the combination between getting my nose job and then also dyeing my hair blue has resulted in a lot of, basically I've lost a lot of followers and stuff because of it. And I kind of expected that to happen a little bit, but it's definitely been a lot more than I thought. Um, I think, when you alter your appearance this drastically, it really shows how shallow social media really is. And I've lost a lot of followers, mainly on my Instagram because I did have a predominantly male audience on there and you just, this really goes to show for me that men just, like not all guys, but the majority of them, they just want you to never have plastic surgery, never dye your hair blue, just be really, basic I guess for them to think you're attractive and apparently I've become very unattractive to a lot of people that's like something that just happened and it's a little bit heartbreaking because it does kind of sometimes feel like I'm not good enough anymore because I got plastic surgery you know and that's kind of just a weird thing so if you want to follow me on Instagram uh, that would mean a lot but yeah I think that's the worst part of it honestly it's just that I felt kind of the rejection from society now that I've done something for myself that has made me really happy but people are just like no we should not have done that how much does it cost so I did talk about this in my rhinoplasty preparation video and everything like where I got it done what the cost includes so I'll refer you to that what are the risks so of course every major surgery has its risks for me it was very scary to go abroad to have surgery because I've had surgery before um, but I've always had it here in the Netherlands and so just like you don't know what to expect 
to have like surgery abroad and I definitely thought it was a little bit scary especially when I was like wheeled into the uh, OR is that what you guys call it I'm not sure but basically they put me on my uh, surgery table and I was just laying there looking at the lamps overhead and I was just like oh my gosh what have I gotten myself into but I definitely have to say that Turkey was such a good experience surgery wise they did before um, I got my surgery they even took an MRI which is something that I've never had here in the Netherlands um, so it really felt like they were really thorough with all their blood tests and everything before the surgery to make sure that you're going to be fine uh, and I stayed the night as well so it was a really really good experience but yeah any risk where you have anesthesia general anesthesia poses its risks on, it on its own but um, the nose job itself if you have a really good surgeon that has a lot of cases that you really like and that has a lot of years of experience you're going to be fine the biggest risk is that you're just not gonna like it you know that is with plastic surgery i think the main thing that you're concerned about but lucky for me i really really like my nose i want to get if you want all the info on my doctor and everything it's in my other videos but um yeah once it is done of course you have the risk of damaging it oh my gosh you have no idea how many times in a day you actually bump your nose until you're not allowed to bump or touch your nose anymore like you literally touch it and bump it the whole day and it's just something that you don't think about normally so by bumping and touching i don't mean like an actual blast to the nose like that definitely did not happen and everything is healed fine but just little like touches like this or little like oops like stuff like that just happened all the time for me and I'm so clumsy and I'm so unaware of my uh, surroundings. So yeah, that was definitely something. But once you get over like a few weeks, uh, you are gonna be fine and your nose is gonna get stable. After six weeks, your nose will be fully stable. So I'm almost there now. How do you feel now? What has changed most physically and mentally? Um, I feel really good. I feel a lot more confident and I'm very happy. So yeah, it's just, it's been a really, really great experience. Um, and it's also, I think with everyone, like not everyone, but a lot of people on following me on social media, it's also given me so much more, it's just like, I don't care anymore. Just gonna look however the freak I want to look. So um, yeah, I've definitely gotten ballsier because of it, I guess, because it's just, um, if I'd asked people before should I do it everyone would have probably said no and I did it anyway And I am really happy. So that has just shown me to never listen to other people and always listen to your own heart um, What do you think is the most annoying I think at the moment? Um, so Are you ready for something gross this morning a lot of the built-up gunk basically fell out of my nose including the stitches on the inside like a lot of it came out it was like disgusting i've never seen something like that in my life but since that came out i can i can breathe so well but before that i definitely i could breathe or every week it got better with breathing um but your nose is still kind of like stuffed up with gunk because you can't clean it at first like you can't blow your nose or anything like you just have to leave it or at least i had to just leave it um so that was annoying just like the chap lips where you, the way that you wake up in the morning like you're basically hung over from breathing through your mouth all night you just you wake up and it feels like you're just never gonna have saliva ever again in your life you know it's just it that's terrible but um yeah and for me not being able to sleep on my belly because I'm a belly sleeper I do sleep on my side now my doctor told me that I was fine to sleep on my side so I'm doing that and it's going totally fine um but yeah annoying nothing really I guess just not touching it like trying not to touch it that's and not bump it into anything that's the hardest thing right now but it's like in one month right now I thought yesterday I had this thought like wow it's starting to really get easier now like now I'm starting to really I still feel a little bit of like pressure and stuff on it but it's getting so much easier to do with every day if you had pain um during this last period so like since i took my tapes off and stuff not pain um i definitely had like the tension on my nose it's like someone's standing on your nose or like squeezing your nose really hard that's how it feels in the beginning it's intense and then it starts to like ebb away basically and so for the past few weeks i've still definitely had that feeling right now i still have that at the bottom of the nose mostly but the top and stuff is fine 
Uh, currently, I'm not wearing makeup on it. By the way, I have makeup around my eyes, like concealer, but on my nose itself, it's not contoured or anything. This is just what it looks like now. Um, but yeah, I still had some pressure, um, but not pain at all. Did you feel strange at first, like looking in the mirror, feeling it's someone else? I did have a video. I have a video on that on my channel called uh, "Saw My Nose for First Time and Don't Like It." Um, it's really weird to say that I definitely felt that way for a while, but now if I look in the mirror, I, it's almost like it's crazy because I had this other nose for 22 years of my life. And now if I look in the mirror, I just, it's like, I don't even remember ever having that other nose. I don't, I can't even imagine what I would look like with it. I, I have to look at like old videos and like old TikToks um, in order to like have a grasp on what that would look like. I actually made a TikTok yesterday that was, me make it like a stitch of me before and me now with the same like outfit where you can see the difference in my nose and once i see that i like i i i can understand like the difference but other than that like when i look in the mirror i still can't see it but something that it's like changed and stuff for me is like i like my eye makeup so much before for some reason a winged eyeliner just did not look good on me and now i think it looks so good on me so it really changes the way that you do your makeup because i did my makeup the way that i would usually do it and it just did not look good on me and now i have to do like a nice wing and it looks so much better and um, i feel like it brought a lot of symmetry back to my face because i was not aware but my nose was actually asymmetrical so now that i have a really symmetrical nose it brings a lot of symmetry back to the face that is really good. I love this part of my face so much more now from the side than I did before. And of course, this is also still like the cutest side profile ever I can. Um, how many days after could you breathe normally again? I have to be honest with you. When I read on the internet that people could breathe as soon as like they got their like stints removed and stuff from the inside, um, that was definitely not me. I think today is the first day that I can fully breathe the way that I could before. And that's just because of all the snot basically that builds up um, that you're not allowed to clean out. So it's just basically like you have a cold the whole time, like you're just kind of stuffy and nasally. Not annoying or comfortable or anything. But yeah, I definitely was not one of those people that could breathe really fast, but I know healing is different for everyone. Um, is there any stigma towards plastic surgery in the Netherlands? I think there is a lot of stigma towards plastic surgery in general. Um, like I said, like <laughs> I've gotten so many unfollows I've definitely also got a lot of unfollowers from people that I know from like in the past, like for my life in the past, um, that I definitely, I noticed, especially in combination with dyeing my hair, it was like the last straw from the, for them, you know, they were just like, I can't follow this girl anymore because she's too weird. Um, and it's just strange to me because um, I like uniqueness. I like that I look like um, <laughs> someone said you look exactly like Hatsune Miku now and it's like that means a lot. Um, yeah, I started to like dress more cutesy and stuff like I'm just really growing into myself. Um, but yeah, there's definitely stigma like I've noticed so many people have like unfollowed me and everything. Um, but I just don't care. Like literally, I just don't give a crap. I notice like once you do it, like you just don't care because you're just so happy. Like it doesn't matter what people think anymore. It's just the best. Um, yours turned out so cute, by the way. If you had one word to describe the whole experience, it would be life-changing, amazing, so good. Um, would you have gotten the surgery if there was not been, if there had not been a pandemic, being home to recover? I don't know, honestly. I really know that this has done so much for me as far as I started my business and I've started to just to rest how I wanted. I got my nose job because I was like, I just had this feeling of like, if not now, then when? And I've just in general had this feeling, I'm 22 years old right now, people are starting to really like make choices and form their lives. Like some people are like starting families and stuff. And I've just decided like, why? Like if I don't start living the way that I've always wanted to now, like when am I ever gonna start living that way? Like I, this is a point where I feel like I'm kind of at like a crossroads for things. So it's like, I'm gonna get my nose on, I'm gonna dye my hair blue because I've always wanted to go back to blue and I'm just gonna become an anime character because that is what I want deep inside my heart. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean? And like start my business and everything. So um, I don't know, honestly, I don't know because I think it has definitely brought me a lot as far as like time goes and stuff. If your child would ask you about your nose, what would you tell them that I had it done? Like I'm just 100% transparent about that. And I would also tell my child like, 
you know, if you're older and you have something that is debilitating to you as far as like it makes you super uncomfortable, you can get something done about it. Like that has always been my mom's attitude towards me as well. And that has never pushed me to do anything to myself as far as plastic surgery at all. But it's always made me feel like it's okay. I can make choices for myself that will make me happy and I will not be judged. And um, yeah, it was just a, I felt very loved that my mom had that um, attitude towards me about plastic surgery. Like she's always just been like, you know what? I just want you to be happy. And if there's something that makes you really, really, really unhappy, then, you know, get it fixed. You know, it's totally fine that, that I would be the same to my children, I think. Um, how is your upper lip now? So it's getting a lot better. So I'm starting to look normal again when I smile. Um, it's definitely still like stiff. Like it's still full of um, swelling from my nose. It goes down to your upper lip. Uh, before I could not lift my upper lip, <laughs> this is weird but I can you can see my teeth again before it was just they stuck there all the time which just made me look really stupid but yeah definitely getting a lot better really fast right now and I also feel like the more that I use it the better it gets honestly and last one overall how much does it hurt for somebody with zero pain tolerance so I have super high pain tolerance I've had a bunch of surgery before as I told you guys for things in the Netherlands so in my experience, I've always been like a really tough girl that had no pain um, with things that I was supposed to have a lot of pain for. So when I read online that a lot of people do not experience pain after a rhinoplasty, I just thought that's gonna be me too. Like I'm gonna be totally fine. But my experience was definitely different. Um, the first night I didn't have painkillers. And so I just went through the night without painkillers and it was, extremely painful i was intensely worried about it because i'd read online that it was not supposed to be painful so it's like why is it hurting so much does it mean that i have like an infection or something like is there something wrong because it hurts so much so i contacted the people there they were like no it's fine a lot of people have a lot of pain that's totally normal we're just going to give you more pain medication um but what i've heard is that it just depends on how much they've done the technique that they've used and from doctor to doctor it differs um would i want my doctor to have done anything differently no um i am not upset that i had a lot of pain because of whatever it is that his technique is that resulted in a lot of pain um, because I think I have the cutest nose ever and I've definitely seen there's so much of a difference in nose jobs I've definitely seen people that have had nose jobs where you can really tell that they did that was not something that I wanted I wanted a really natural look but at the same time he did so much like I had an insane intense bump on my nose and he made it into the cutest little slope i had a really bulbous tip that was hanging low he made it into a really cute little buttony tip like it's starting to look a lot buttonier because this is going down this is still going to go down a lot more probably but it's starting to look so cute um and so i'm really really happy about that but maybe it was because they actually did an open technique on me which is terrifying to think about i don't want to ever think about that um that it hurt so much or because my nose shape was changed that drastically my surgery took two and a half hours instead of two so they took a little bit longer on it i don't know but for me it definitely was painful but i've gotten a lot of questions like that on instagram like how was pain and stuff and whatever but i'm very much like same goes for like tattoos or whatever this is something that i wanted so much so even though it hurt i just really didn't care in the moment i also think that there's pains that are so much worse that is like pain that's like unexpected or that's in like bursts um, and it's like out of nowhere but with the nose job you wake up and the pain starts to gradually build over the next few days and then it starts to gradually like get less and so it's not sudden it's not you, you just kind of start to get used to it and so it's totally bearable plus once again you know what you're doing it for so you just don't care you know you want it and I also feel like you know I'm just very much, my attitude towards life is just like, put your big girl panties on. If this is something you want, you're just going to have to get through it, you know? Um, and so, yeah, it's definitely totally worth it. But for me, on a pain scale, the first two days, 
definitely seven and a half, which is really, really, really high for me. But to be quite fair, two days and then it went down really fast. Like it got better so, so quickly. So it was totally fine. So I hope that that answered your questions. Um, I'm gonna do a three month post-op check-in after the three months are done where they say about like 30% of the swelling will be gone. So if that's something that you're interested in, don't hesitate to subscribe to me here on YouTube. You can also follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Patreon for this month still, and you can check out my Etsy shop. You can use code new nose to get 15% discount on your order. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for all the support and uh, the interest on my nose job. It's honestly overwhelmingly, especially here on YouTube. You guys are amazing. It's just been kindness and love all around. And that just means so much to me. I love you guys so much. So anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Mwah.